Let's talk real quickly about the point ratio. So to do that, I'm going to use a new node, which is set strand size profile. Now this is another way of controlling the size, except this time it allows you to use a profile curve and a factor. So I'm going to plug that in, like so. Oh, I'm going to still need my shape, aren't I? So let's plug it into the shape. Sorry about that. Plug that back into there. Make sure that this is set to ribbon. And what I'm going to do is move it. So that's, I need to set the shape first, I think. So we set that there and set that there. This is a little hard to see, but it's still a ribbon and it's very definitely thicker at this end than it is at this end. The size profile looks like this. This is just an F curve. I'll just pop that out. This is the default curve it comes with. Now watch the strand as I pull this down. You can see one end is getting thinner and thinner. I can put in a bit of a bulge in the middle by putting one there and then pulling this end down. So you've got thin, thick, thin. What this gives you is a shape across the curve based on this factor. So if this is a multiplier basically. So if this is one, it's 0 0.25 somewhere in the middle and it's zero at the start and close to zero at the end. And to do that, what this uses is that point ratio. So let, let's have a quick explore what the point ratio is. Now, I know there's a point ratio on here. If I want to update my point ratio, I can go inside the set strands profile, go inside the checkpoint ratio and grab update strand ratio. Copy that and paste. So I could just use this by itself. All this will do is put the ratio on it and give you the ratio out here and you see that it's a float. So why don't we have a look at what this ratio is doing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get geo property and I'm going to get the point ratio property. So as always that needs to go in there and we know it's a float because we've had a look at this node and there's a float coming out. We can also check that by going here and see it says array float. Great. And just for display purposes, I'm going to put down a color. And for my color, I would just use green because that's what I'm doing. And I'm just going to multiply that color by my point ratio because the big dirty secret of point ratio is that it is always a value between zero and one. And you see what's happened here. At zero, we're at the very first point in the array. At one, we're on the very last one. So what this is basically telling you is how far along this curve you are. You are at zero, the closer you are to the beginning. So this is the start of the curve. And we can, we can sort of display that by going, okay, we're going to take this guy, get the first in the array, construct points, that point there. It's not going to be happy because it wants more than one point. So we'll set that to fan in. So it just takes it like an array. Point scope. This and then a new terminal. Just so we can see what's going on. So what I'm going to do too is I'm going to take that. I'm going to say let's make this a bit bigger so you can see where it is. This is the first point in the array. It's that point. It's black. Well, it's, it's down here where it's black. If I was to say go get from array. plug that in, then I can change that and watch that move along. So we get to the last in the array, put that in, and that's going to be the last point, which corresponds to a point ratio of one. So zero to one along the points. Very, very handy for doing things with. You can set it up this example here, we go to the Bifrost browser and we go to strands and let's import the Grasswind example, which will just take a minute. It's going to put it here. It's going to open it in a new Bifrost graph. So if you were to have a look at the Grasswind example, where it's telling you what's going on here most of the time, what's basically happening is that there's points being scattered on a, on a displaced plane and then we are instancing some blades and those blades are strands. And then once you've got that loaded, it'll have a little think, and then you can get some animation out of it. 
what the point ratio is being used for here, and you can see the color is the point ratio. The point ratio is being used as a stiffness modifier, which is saying that I am going to multiply my movement by zero here and by one here. So the blades are always planted. We play that again. Just takes a while for the first frame to cache everything. You can see that the very, very bottom, the, what is the point ratio of zero, the start of the, start of the strains, ain't moving. It's just staying where it is and everything else is moving, but more at the top. So you'll see more movement up here than you will down here. And it just acts like a stiffness property. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. They can go away. We'll show that one. Feel free to open things from the browser and check out how they work. It's going to help you understand more and more and more. But that's point ratio. It gives you a setting along the strand. 